let's do something a little different. But first, what am I using? I'm going to prep my face with some Parasso pre-shave cream. I'm going to use the shaving cream. I've got the soap. I prefer the cream better. And I'll finish it off with the splash. I first started using these, transitioning to straight razors. You know, after about 35, 40 shaves into it, I started really getting the hang of it. This is what I'm going to use. Uh, my Philly 8 Ace Tridor for thick beards. And uh, after I got to shaving, my razor started getting dull. I never dawned on me. I had a whip dog, a rich man strop, and man, I was I was on the bigger and better things, and all of a sudden, my razor start pulling. I want y'all. I just hone this on a Nakayama Sagi. Four days growth, people, and it is just gone, man. This this is a phenomenal shaving razor. It takes a Phenomenal edge. I know somebody else who's really digging filler monikers. That's Dr. Matt. That's where I was going, you know. Uh, I was watching YouTube videos. Now I need my razor sharpened. And this was four years ago. And I ran across Dr. Matt. I seen Lynn Abrams. I seen couple other people out there. I had my razor sent to a couple people, but I sent it to Dr. Matt, and woo, when I got it back, I'm like, man, this Dovo ain't never been this sharp. So after sending my razors to him probably a number of six or seven times, you want to send them to him. You know he puts great edges on them. And I'm like, you know what? I have got to learn how to hone myself. Because I was, I was all in the straight razors. And uh, so, did a little homework and whatnot. And I seen somewhere on a YouTube clip uh, where it said if you get a 4, 8 Norton K combo stone and a Noena or Nanoa 12K super stone, uh, that's all you need to keep a good edge. So I bought those three stones. And when I got them, I was watching Dr. Matt's uh, honing videos. That's all he was doing back then was his honing videos. And um, it's a little, this is, I'll say it's darn near extra hollow. Y'all can hear it singing. <laughs> um, Say, this seems to be working out really well. So I was walking through Dr. Matt's videos and he was really big on using this little very economical Amazon.com type of scope is a VO scope and uh, so I ordered one of them too because I bought a jeweler's loop and I couldn't see nothing out of that jeweler's loop and um, and when you hone an edge that first swipe you know if it's a good edge or not at least I do I don't have to go all over my face I know I mean I do the hanging hair test but that first swipe, especially when you got four days growth, you know that, that that edge is kicking, buddy. And this one is. There's nothing like having a good edge on a razor. If you don't have a good edge on a razor and you're struggling with a straight razor, it's probably because your razor needs home and if you Received it shave ready. A lot of times they ain't shave ready. If you send it to somebody and I'm not mentioning no names or anything, I'm not that way anybody who watches me. But some people might not know how to hone a really good edge. But I learned how to hone an edge one night, determined that I was going to figure it out. I started emailing Dr. Matt, taking pictures, fighting with this razor, and he stuck with me 
for I know three to four hours that night. I, my head was hurting, but I was not going to stop until I got an edge. And um, I'd hone a little while. I'd take a picture. I would email it to him. He would say, "You need to do this, Mark. You need to go back to that stone. Now go back. Just now, I try to put a layer of tape on it. You know, I, I wasn't proficient at it." But that's leading me to say, thank you, Dr. Matt. One of three people that I still watch on YouTube doing more shape videos. But his unselfishness talked me into getting an edge that night and since then improving to where I think I could put just as good an edge on a, on a razor as him. <laughs> and um, I've sent a razor to him before to shave with. With this edge on it. Excuse me? Who's that? Is that you, Mark? I bet he would like to shave with this razor. Man, what do you want? You want me to try your razor? Let me rinse it off. Wipe it down. Which one? That new that new red one, that new Philly? I got the uh, Dobo 14 standing by. I think I'll finish my shave with it. Got it all honed up. It's honed and it's ready. Well, give me a second. Let me finish this pass and I'll, I'll give it a go. I'd like to see what Dr. Matt thinks about how his mentorship paid off. And he could tell me, yay or nay, thumbs up or thumbs down on my edge. And I think he's going to like it. If he don't, he's lying because, uh, it's a darn good edge. So, what do you say, Dr. Matt? You want to take it for a spin? Yeah, just pass it over. All right, I can get it. All right, he said. Here we go. You got it, buddy. This one, huh? Looks nice. I like the red color. <laughs> All right, I'll give it a pass. See how she does. I'll never turn down a chance to try a Philly. Come on now. Sweet. This blade, this blade has a little more hollow of a grind on it. I can feel the difference. Very nice. I can hear it too. Very nice edge, Mark. Remember the very first time that you contacted me and wanted me to hone one of your razors several years ago? Ooh, that's a nice edge, man. Well done, sir. Remember when you first contacted me? I sharpened your razors. And then you wanted to start doing it yourself and you became a real pain in the rear with about 9 million emails every other day. Well, it paid off. Very nice. Now, from what I remember you saying, this is the, this is the, uh, a soggy edge. It's good. I can tell that this edge is, you left some slurry in there because this is not too harsh of an edge. They can, this, these extra, this extra hollow or more hollow can be that way. 
Ooh, that is nice. Well done. in Philly fashion. Wow. You know, That did so well, I'm gonna have to do my final against the grain pass with that, if you don't mind. Mows that right on down. Nice. That is an awesome edge there, Mark. Not only awesome edge, that's a great razor too. Well, Mark, you've done quite well for yourself. I'm proud of you, brother. Mazel tov. Great find. You've become quite the the razor honing aficionado, brother. Appreciate you letting me give it a go. You can take her back. <laughs> oh, me. Well, naturally, Dr. Matt didn't join me on his shave. I sent that to him. But I, I emailed him and wondered if he would uh, do a... Uh, a joint shave video using the same razor. I know he likes filler monicas and uh, and that is a special filler monica. I'm telling you, if, there's, if there is an edge that is too sharp, that's close to it. And um, he's never used a tri door. So glad he liked it. Send me a little note. Saying that uh, he really liked the edge. Whoo, man. Oh, man. 
After my first bottle Prasso Green, which was a small one, I upgraded to the 400 milliliter. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Uh, I got me a nice close shave. Whoo! Been out in the sun all day. That Prasso was right on time. As always, shave on.